Hey, what's up and how's it going? My name is Toby and in today's video we're going to take a look at body tracking or body avatar drive in Effect House. So in this tutorial we're going to learn how to download a 3D model from the internet, then we will modify it within Blender and finally we will import it into Effect House and make it follow your body movements so you can create an awesome TikTok filter to impress your friends and family. All right, so first of all, we of course need the Effect House software. So you need to go to effecthouse.tiktok.com. Then you need to sign in with your TikTok account and just download and install it. And we will also need the free open source 3D platform Blender, which we will also need to download at blender.org slash download. So once you've done that, let's begin by choosing a suitable 3D model for our uh, TikTok effect. So let's begin with Mixamo. So this is a platform by Adobe and you can just go to mixamo.com and then uh, also create a, either create an Adobe account or sign in with your uh, Adobe account and then just go to browse characters. And here we have pretty much a selection of pre-rigged characters, which means they can be easily animated. So we can just skip through this one here and just select, for example, this character all right, so it looks pretty nice and we could simply go ahead and download it. So choose FBX binary and T-Pose and just download. Next up, we will open up the downloaded model within Blender. And the reason we are doing this and not importing it into Effect House immediately is that we would get an error which will say that we have too many bones, that the model is too complex. So we need to fix that in Blender first. And to do that, let's move around with the middle mouse button um, and then just click X to delete the cube as well as this camera, just click X and delete. Gonna go to File, uh, Import and then FBX. And then we can move to the Downloads folder where we store the model and simply import FBX like that. And so it will take a few seconds depending on your system and now we have this character here and with a middle mouse button, we can move around, we can zoom with our mouse wheel and also just use these tools here to move around. Okay, so then if we're gonna click on this character and we're gonna use this toggle here to make it invisible, we can see that there are some bones inside. So we have this mesh, which is basically the physical appearance and the um, geometry that this character is made of, but we also have this armature which represents all the bones and the things that we are going to use to move this character. And so it looks pretty nice. We can see, okay, these are the arm bones, the finger bones, the uh, leg bones. However, the effect house currently does not support finger tracking and also does not support some very advanced rigs. So what we need to do is we need to go up here to edit mode and this will allow us to, if we click um, on the armature and then away, to just uh, select these fingers here, for example, and then hold shift and select those. Or we can also just click C, oops, C, and then just select those ones here too that and then just click X and delete the bones. So in that regard, we made our rig a bit simpler. We can now import it into Effect House and we don't have finger tracking anyways. So now we've pretty much fixed it. So let's go back to object mode. Then also let's delete the light. So select it, click X, delete. Let's go to files, export and then FBX. And once we found the folder we want to export to, make sure to set the path mode to copy. And then we wanna embed textures. And then we can just export the FBX. Okay, so now we got a character and let's go into Effect House. So once that is open up, let's create a new project. When that has finished, we can simply go here into a hierarchy 
and add object and then we want to add a AR tracking body avatar drive like that. And so next up we want to import our model. So let's click on import and let's navigate towards the folder where we saved our model. For me it's here and let's simply open it up. Import like that. Awesome. So making the effect is actually super simple now. Make sure that you have opened up your preview window, which is up here. And then on the preview, just choose some of these full body dancing videos here so we can preview what's going on. And then we can simply drag in our character into the body avatar drive like that. And so nothing is happening right now. And this is because we need to go into our character to the skeleton and render root. And we need to disable this pre-added animation here. So simply remove it. And yep, here we go. So we seem to have a few issues here, which might have to do with the rig. But overall, yes, we have a character following the body movement. So in order to move it around, we can simply disable follow body position like that. And then we can go into our uh, scene view and just click scale and scale it down by quite a bit uh, like that a bit more. Okay. And so then if we move it down, we can see the character is following the movement, which is quite nice. However, there seems to be a bit of an issue and this is because we forgot something. So when we removed our fingers in the rig in Blender, we actually didn't reassign the fingers to another bone and that's why they're kind of floating in the air. So let's go back to Blender and let's select our um, armature and after that let's shift click and select our character here. And then on the top left corner we can simply choose weight paint. And basically this will give us an idea of which bone has control over what body part basically by showing up colors uh, where blue has says no control and red has basically a very strong weight so very strong co control if you want to say so so let's click on this little icon here which will make our rig uh, visible and now clicking control and click um, we can select bones um, like that, for example, we can click on a bone and it will show where the control of that bone lays. And so all we need to do now is we need to select the hand, for example, can make also sure to mirror everything that happens. I don't know. I think for weight painting, it doesn't work that great, but still let's do it. And then let's simply paint the fingers like that. And also from the other side, a little bit like about here. Let's move around um, like this. Okay, nice. So then let's move to this side, paint it and to the front, but I think it's already quite good here. And let's check on the other side. So, but, um, by the way, on Mac, you hold down the option key and on Windows, it should be the control key if you want to change the uh, bones here. And so let's just paint it like this. All right, like that. So that it's all red or at least, you know, a dark green or something like that. Okay, perfect. So then let's check out if this actually works. So let's go um, from the weight paint mode to the um, object mode. Then let's just select the armature only. Go to uh, pose mode, select our hand bone here and just move it. And yep, everything is working. Basically I'm moving it by clicking on R. So this is rotation and double R is full rotation. You can also press G. Uh, to move it around like this, but I think it looks quite nice. 
So then let's go back to object mode and uh, just deselect everything, file, export, and do the same thing again. And then just import it um, into Effect House again. So in Effect House, we will simply delete our character by clicking uh, Delete. And also here, right click, delete, like that. And then just simply go to Import and then import our second character like that. And now the same thing again, drag it in and delete the animation. And now we have a dancing character that corresponds to the movement of the person in the video. So now we also want to, of course, uh, activate our materials. So for that, we can simply go to our materials here on the left side here and click texture on. All right, so now we got the character dancing and following. What we can do still is we can add a plane which will cast some shadows. So that's a quite a nice effect. So simply go to 3D, plane, and um, then we wanna turn that plane by 90 degrees on the X axis like this. And maybe, um, or maybe mi minus 90, like that. And then we can scale it up by clicking R or using the scale button here, like this. And as a material, we want to um, import and then we want to take the mud shadow material like this. And of course, we need to go to our character here and then simply click on cast shadows on all of these meshes here, like that. And now we also need to go to our light and enable to cast shadows. And let's move it around a bit like this. And we can see that the plane is still somewhere on top of the character. So let's move it down like that. And also let's move it a bit forward like this. So it looks nicer. All right. So then we can also adapt the, um, the shadows a little bit. So let's simply reduce the cast shadow strength to about 50 or so. All right, so that's pretty nice. All right, so let's imagine that we do not want one of those Mixamo characters, but we actually want to take some random characters from Sketchfab. The process is actually pretty similar. So you can simply go to Sketchfab, then you can click on uh, downloadable. So for example, search for uh, characters and creatures. Uh, then go to downloadable. So always make sure that you have a um, humanoid character. So it has uh, two arms, two legs and a hat. And you could download any of those which says downloadable. Of course, there are ones, some ones that are paid, but this uh, download 3D model usually indicates that it's a free model that can be downloaded. And so I found this nice chip monk, for example, all right, so when we've downloaded this 3D model like that, also FBX, make sure that also the file is not above five megabytes because that's the max size for a effect house um, effect. We can simply go to our downloads and then we need to unzip it. And I think here's a zip file again, yep, like that. And then we can go to uh, Mixamo and we can upload our own character so select a character or a file. Then let's just navigate to the FBX file. Let's open it up. So it will upload here. And once that has finished, we can click on next. And now we need to set some basic positions. So the chin, then um, the wrists like that. Then the elbows like that. 
knees should be somewhere here and the groin should be I guess somewhere here and in the skeleton LOD we can simply choose no fingers as we would need to delete them anyways and we have an easier rig okay so then click next okay so and once that has finished we can already see that the rigging somewhat worked it's not perfect but we're gonna fix that in Blender the same way that we did before. So simply click next and then just next. And finally, we're just gonna download it as a FBX in T-Pose. All right, so now let's open it up in Blender, go to file, import, FBX. And once it's downloaded, we should see it here with shift C, you can just zoom towards the object and of course, as always, we could just import it into Effect House immediately. However, it's usually well worth to just fix a few things and those rigs will not always come out to be perfectly, except you just choose the ones from Mixamo immediately, but then you also need to, of course, tweak the uh, hand bones. So it's always worth it to just go this um, middle step to use Blender. Let's check the bone setup and also the weight painting. So for that, again, let's click on the right top here, this X-ray functions, and let's see. Well, looks not too bad. If we go to edit mode here, we can see pretty much what the bones should mean. So this bone here is the head bone, and then this one is the shoulder. Um, what's that one? So this one is the neck. Yeah, so it's quite okay, but I would guess that we can still do some improvements. So let's select those bones. They will most likely be the spine. Yeah, so the spine. So let's move them down a little bit like that. And then the neck one, um, we're gonna move down even further. And so the head one, so pretty much everything here is the head, right? So let's do this. And then we could move these bones down even further so let's move it down like this um, so I guess this is the pelvis uh, yeah these are the hips so let's move this down further uh, like that and make it also a bit smaller so we can also just select one of those uh, spheres here basically just make it a bit smaller this one a bit bigger like that and then move this down a little bit and let's see um oh we still need some more space so let's do it like this select only the end and the beginning points so we can make all those bones a little bit smaller and yeah this looks pretty nice so the head bone can go down a bit more like this and also the shoulders are way too high. So let's move this down and let's move this down to like that. Okay, so this looks a lot better. I don't know what's actually this one or this is the head top end. So yeah, maybe just position it here and make it a bit smaller like that. So that should be fine. Also make sure this is a bit more in the middle so like this could be great okay so next up let's do the weight painting so click on the armature then click on the character oh and by the way something we didn't do um last time but that's very useful in our case here is we have a lot of different meshes here so there seems to be the eye the other eye and then the cap so let's just simply select all of them and just click here um in the scene view and just click uh, Control J or Command J to join all of those into one mesh because we for our purposes we only need one mesh okay so then click on the armature and the character and as before let's select uh, weight paint and then let's go back into x-ray mode and here we will see oh yeah this is not looking too great currently so let's fix all of this um, so let's begin with the hands. So this looks pretty good. It's pretty good too. Yep, uh, here we can see already an issue. So 
it seems like this bone has effect on the tail, which it shouldn't have. So let's simply go to um, up here and select subtract like this. Just remove it. Let's check if there's anything else. Nope, looks pretty good. Next bone. Okay, yeah, maybe it shouldn't actually affect the head so much. So let's just remove it here. Like that. And only maybe in this area here. Okay, looks good. Then next up, let's take a look at the head. So this probably won't affect anything. And this will only affect the cap, which is also 2LS. So let's switch back to add and just, oops, let's just paint on the head. So here, and maybe let's increase the radius, but reduce the strength a little bit. So yeah, that's too big, I guess. But yeah, this one could be fine. So let's paint it like that. Also make sure to not paint on the tail because this one will be moved by the hip. Like this. Right, perfect. Doesn't need to be, you know, completely red, but of course it helps if, um, if the weight is um, pretty strong on this um, particular part. Let's reduce the radius a bit and I'm also sure to paint the back of the head like this. And then to make it a bit more um, even, we can just, when we're done, use the um, blur or uh, average tool, but let's take the blur tool, just make it a bit more even like that. Yeah, so that could be fine. So then next up we have the neck. So this one is not working at all. So let's also remove everything here. Oops, go back here, subtract, make a big radius like this. Simply remove everything. And so I chose a particular, a particularly um, difficult character here to just show what you would might need to do. But if you choose something that's more um, resembling uh, just normal human, then it will also be easier. But I also think that we should cover some edge cases here. So let's do that and let's paint it. Make sure it's of course on add here. Like this, so this is the neck. Pretty nice. Perfect. So let's go on. Yep, so here also too much. Just increase the radius like this. Yep, awesome. Perfect. And then let's add back. This radius. And so this is just the shoulder, right? So it shouldn't be too much. Maybe a bit here. And that should be enough. And also here in the front, this is definitely too much. So we don't want that. Should be like this. Okay, so on it goes. Always remove things on the tail. We don't need it, we don't want it. Yeah, so that looks fine. There's maybe a bit too much here on the shoulder, so remove that. Um, oops. Next one looks fine. This one looks great too. Always just make sure that there's nothing on the tail. Okay, so then let's go on with the spine. So yeah, this one shouldn't be on the tail. Again, the tail will only be moved by the hip. So let's remove everything here and also everything on the face. The only thing that the spine should move is like a little bit like 
that and then maybe a little bit um, on this height here. So maybe here, some small strokes here and there, that for example, and also um, sub subtract everything here. So that shouldn't be affected. I mean, maybe it would like affect a little bit up here and down here, but also um, um, it will be fine, I guess. If we do it that way and then subtract here and remove it here, like this, okay. So we just remove everything and redo it. so this seems to be also a bit on the back of the head so let's remove this go back and paint a little bit like that okay looks good and here too Okay, so here on the hips, we not only wanted to move um, the main body, uh, if you want to call it so, but we also wanted to move the tail. So let's do that by simply adding the whole tail here. So let's make a big radius and then just add everything. All right, so then the only thing left are the legs. So this one is fine, this one is fine. Make sure it's not affecting the tail. This one has nothing, so let's add a little bit here. Go like that. It's maybe too strong, I guess. Let's reduce the strength a little bit and also remove a little bit of this here like that and just repaint it like this yep looks good and finally the feet yep looks fine all right i think you got the principle so let's export this one too to uh, effect house and let's take a look Okay, so back in our project, we can simply delete um, our existing character and then we can go ahead and import our new character. Click import. Awesome, so let's drag it into our scene. Are we, I think we remove our body tracker, so that's not an issue. Simply go to AI tracking, body avatar drive, and then let's just add our chip here. Make sure it's inside of the body avatar drive. And then go ahead and select the skeleton and root render, remove the animation. And let's take a look. Yeah, I think it looks not too bad. Of course, the feet are somewhat a weakness here because they're pretty small and you might need to go more into detail. So then let's go to the body avatar drive. Let's do not follow the body position. And let's just scale it down like this. Move it downwards. 
like here, a bit to the side maybe. You can already see it's inside of the plane. So that shouldn't be like that, it should be like this. Of course, we also need to activate our textures. So go to materials, click texture on. Perfect, so you can see there are some kind of little issues here and this is just because the way that we um, do, did the weight painting which was quite fast, so ideally you take more time to make it really perfect, but now um, we pretty much got everything done. We will only need to enable cast shadows so that we have some nice shadows. And now if we wanna test it out, we can simply preview it in TikTok and then just on our phone, scan the QR code and test it out. And if we're done with everything, if we're happy, we can just simply submit the effect and um, then add a thumbnail and all that stuff and put it onto TikTok. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to write in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.